What's happening folks? Welcome back to Street Notes. Can't believe we're on episode 30. It's been about a year since I started this to be fair, but it I just slowly chipped away at it and uh, suddenly I'm at episode 30. This is the final episode of the Balloon Festival. It was a three day thing, so this is the, the last part of the third day here. I'm not gonna talk over too many of these pictures. I'll just kind of pipe up as the most significant points come along and otherwise I'll just play some music. I'll try and switch up as well, play different music instead of 15 minutes of the same song like I did last time. This little patch of light here was really good. There was a lot of people passing through as well, a lot of gestures and stuff, so hung around here for a little bit. It wasn't actually too long before a group of people passed pretty close to me. And I like this one. I've got a lot of people spaced out across the frame. They're sort of um, highlighted by the, by the way the sun is. There's this kid down in the bottom corner there who's just sort of illuminated but in this area of shadow. And yeah, I think, I think this one's cool. I always kept hanging around these buckets trying to make pictures there because that's where people would congregate but I never got anything that I really thought was that good. But walking away I saw these people doing these gestures and as I got past I realised this whole family was doing gestures and it actually turned out much better. There's just really good shadows here, nice real long shadows and everybody's got their hands up in the air doing different things and I think I quite like it. Even like Pike's Peak in the background looks pretty cool. stuck to this scene for quite a while. I thought there was a good composition, a good background here, it was fairly simplified. A lot of people moving in and out of it. In the end, I don't think I got anything great, but it was a pretty, but some of it was okay, and it was a good exercise. as I moved around this spot, they started to unfurl, um, a, uh, I don't know, a Jerry Mouse or something balloon it was called. Um, I think it was supposed to be the mouse from Tom and Jerry, but they don't use Jerry because of copyright. They started to set this up and I'm just, I'm just waiting to see what happens. This girl starts picking it up. Uh, I thought this could be good, so start to try and make that an element towards the front of the frame and balancing it out with that other person on the other side there. And I thought that was going to be the best of it. I thought maybe there was something good there, but then suddenly she just lifts it up and she disappears underneath the balloon. And that shot there with the hand sticking out I thought was quite good. But I thought maybe see what happens when she comes back out from underneath this thing. came back towards me and right there she noticed me and she laughs as I'm taking pictures and to be honest this might be one of my favourites of the entire festival. It's not something I saw coming, it just happened in that moment as I happened to be taking pictures and even, you know, she's even slightly out of focus, I'm focused more towards the background but her hand is completely contained within the, the orange of whatever that is in the background and she, you can see she's sort of like coming out from almost like a balloon cave sort of shaped thing there. 
and I just really like the colours in this, I think it looks good and yeah, really pleased with this foal. And that was the last of the Colorado Springs Balloon Festival. Kind of sad to think that that isn't going to happen until next September again. It's going to be a long wait, but I'm looking forward to photographing that again. And it's kind of made me want to go to the Albuquerque one, which is much, much bigger, I think, as well. Anyways, that is it for this one. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy POV type photography videos, hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, let me know what your favourite picture was, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.